Hello everybody, this is John. Welcome back to another product review on the channel. Today's product was inspired by, originally, my Jot vs. Javi vs. 1 by comparison video where a person with the username CatLadyDiane suggested another similar product. And I have it right here. This is called... Top Roast 100% Arabica Concentrated Coffee. And this comes with a convenient pump. And one pump is one serving, which is one cup. And it says it makes 100 cups. This cost $29.95 on Amazon. Um, it's the only place I really found it. That's where she suggested it was Amazon. Um, when I first bought it, it said it wasn't in stock currently, but it would be in stock. Um, I actually purchased this July 21st, and it came mm, August 10th, something like that. So it was a couple weeks um, before I received it. 100 cups for $30. That's 30 cents per cup. That's a, a lot cheaper than all the other ones. But, one pump. Um, I did pump a little bit into the cap here, so you can see what it looks like before I mix it up. I really did this just to get the pump prime, so I have like actual full one pump when it started. And this... It's pretty thick. See how it runs down my finger. It almost has a slight chocolatey flavor to it. But uh, it's a really concentrated coffee. Here we go. One pup into a cup that already has a cup. Eight ounces. It says eight to ten ounces. But I went to eight ounces to have the strongest flavor. One pump. Here we go. Now I have some creamer over here, but I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Sans creamer. It is, if I look at it compared to the darkness of the concentrate itself, it still looks very dark. Almost the same darkness. Let's see if you can see that there. Not me pouring coffee everywhere. Pretty dark. It doesn't have like a really fresh smell to it. But it does have a strong flavor smell to it. Come on computer, no dings while I'm doing this. Sometimes I forget to mute things. Flavor-wise, it is a, a dark flavor, but it does taste cheap. Um, it's not necessarily bad. Uh, you don't get, like, the brighter flavors that, like, a one-by would give you. Uh, you don't get... You don't get those like tannin like flavors that like you get from like jot. Uh, and you don't get the chemical flavors like you get from Java either. But it, it's definitely It definitely tastes like it comes from a plastic pump bottle, I guess is what I'm saying. But for thirty cents a cup, is it all that bad? Add a little bit of creamer to it, because that's how I typically drink my coffee, anyways. Put some cream in it. So let's see if how this compares to like my regular cup of joe.
In the ingredients it says liquid coffee and ground coffee. So there are coffee grounds in here. With creamer in it, it tastes like my typical day of coffee. Um, to not waste this, I'm just going to add it to the coffee that I made. Now that I've tasted it in its regular concentration. I would say this is probably now like a pump and a half maybe. The first pump had nothing when I started it. And the second pump started like halfway through the pump. And the third pump actually squirted coffee the whole way through. Oh, look at that. You can see. But there are actually gro the coffee grounds in there. So it says ingredients are liquid coffee and coffee grounds. There's actual coffee grounds in there. And they're very fine. No huge chunkiness. So you could probably really swallow it all and not have much of an issue at all. Um, it does say that it's perfect for iced coffee as well. Um, it says fill a pitcher with water and ice, add eight pumps, mix and enjoy. Eight cups would be four pints, two quarts. Yeah, a two quart pitcher, eight pumps. Um, it has Dream Pack coffee technology, whatever that is. Utilizes a low temperature to capture the essence and quality of Arabica coffee beans. Delivers premium coffee flavor and aroma anytime in every cup. On demand quality coffee without any equipment, just add hot water. And it has a convenient like date thing, so you can put the date that you opened it, make sure you use it 90 days. Probably manufactured in the United States. I gotta say, I don't dislike this product. For 30 cents a cup. So you get 100 cups for $30. I can't, I can't really complain. The flavor, maybe because I'm comparing this to... A Jot flavor is a little bit unfair because Jot's like a very premium concentrated coffee. And this is, it, it is literally cheaper in price. But uh, it, it does have a slightly cheaper flavor. Um, but you can't beat the price point of 30 cents a cup of coffee. It, I will say it tastes better than Javi. It smells better than Javi. I think one buy and Jot probably is still a much more premium flavor and, and aroma. Uh, the aroma, there is some smell in here. It's not like if it was sitting here, I could smell it from here. But if I'm like over it and the steam is coming out of it, I will smell that coffee. I like this one. Like if I was comparing it to all the other ones that I did before. It would be hard to say whether this is an overall better product than Jot. Jot is far and away better tasting. But if you're going to just drink coffee every day and want something good um, that's not going to break the bank, this is actually really good. Top Roast concentrated coffee there's really no frills to this it's got a plastic blue pump what else can I say I like it and thank you to cat lady Diane for suggesting this anyone else watching this video or any of my other videos where I compare products 
and you know something that's very similar, go ahead and comment on those videos. Try this. It's similar. Maybe it's better than the ones you're trying. Uh, because this one, I had no idea about it. I've never got an ad for it. It was kind of difficult to find and get to me because it wasn't in stock. Um, it also says that it's available in a caramel flavor and a vanilla flavor. And I believe those ones have sugar in them? Naturally sweetened with stevia. Okay. So that's liquid coffee, natural flavors, ground coffee, and stevia. So it says 20 calories. This one doesn't have a calorie thing on it. Maybe it's zero. And the vanilla one, also 20 calories. Stevia. Um, hot coffee, iced coffee, baking. I can actually see this being used for baking. Um, it is a, it's a liquid. It has like a very uh, dark, rich coffee flavor. Um, it is a lot of one note in that dark, rich coffee flavor. It doesn't have like a complexity of flavors to it like a Jot would have. But if all you want is a rich coffee flavor for a good price and have convenience of just pumping it into your cup, I, on my typical days, I have um, the instant coffee granules that I just take a scoop of, throw it in, pour hot water over it. Um, I do like more premium coffee, but every day when I get for work, I don't want to have to deal with all that before I start working. This is perfect. I might get more once this runs out. Seriously, it's because I, I bought more Jot because they came out with a new flavor or a new product to, to review. Uh, since then, Jot has come out with two other ones that I didn't get. Uh, just because the second one didn't really taste too much different than the first one, but it's still really good. Um, the price of Jot really keeps me away from going to try more. But, Jot, if you're listening to this and you want me to try your other two flavors, go ahead and send me them and I'll gladly do a review of them. Um, but, this one is in a range where the flavor is good and the price is great. I think I might buy some more. Top Roast, 100% Arabica, Concentrated Coffee. I don't know why this isn't more popular. It should be. It's a really good product. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.